many things that have been acknowledged in the mainstream as disappointing. Um, the national pledges are whichever uh, you know record you're looking at, but 2.4 according to Bloomberg. And I would suggest that we would have a different kind of um, assessment that's largely negative. If we, we don't have time to do all of the, the components, but in the climate justice movement, for about 20 years, these have been the, the sort of demands to cut greenhouse gases, including the military and, and maritime and air transport, and to do it fairly. That's obviously not happening. To have job-rich, just transitions so we can bring labor on board, absolutely critical for mixing the job-oriented strategies in energy transport, tourism, agriculture, urbanization, production, consumption, disposal, all the things we need to change, right, uh, to make sure that labor is with us. Um, and also all the other racial, uh, indigenous, uh, global south, gender, LB, uh, T, LBG, LGBTQI and youth um, uh, agendas, and also the rights of nature and climate migrants, and especially future generations. Green technology should be a, a global public good without, without the kind of... Um, you know, intellectual property restrictions. That's what is really holding us back, isn't it, on getting the COVID-19 vaccine to everyone is some, especially British and German selfishness for their big pharma corps holding on to the intellectual property on, on the vaccines. Um, much to say about the potential dangers and false solutions of technology, but critically, uh, leaving fossil fuels underground, uh, seizing new exploration, and current extraction, and considering the unburnable carbon as stranded assets. And then finally, the financial aspects. Let me move to some of the aspects of carbon taxation, pricing, the failure of the carbon markets and the offset, all those gimmicks. And then the reparations. I'll, I'll dwell on this because just like Adil said, there's loss and damage, which Pakistanis are owed. Uh, as reparations. And there's also the climate proofing we need to do, the adaptation and resilience. And then there's compensation for not using the emissions that uh, would be just. In all these ways, although there's been a little bit more lip service in one or two areas, we can really say that the COP26 was a conference of, of polluters, of arsonists. Uh, Greta Thunberg picked up that same critical standpoint, delegitimizing these elites in Davos at the World Economic Forum, basically saying your pledges are based on cheating ta tactics that got us into this mess. This is, as Adil said, yep, the blah, blah, blah. And in fact, I'm glad we have an Italian uh, del uh, uh, representative because I thought uh, Roberto uh, Singolani, Singola I hope you can pronounce his name, was exactly right. He said, she's right. You know, it's a serious critique. You know, we were not credible in the past. Well, unfortunately, not credible this week either. Final point, just very quickly, is that we needn't give up hope. There was a big problem in the 1980s. It was identified and solved by multilateralism. It was the ozone hole. And the chlorofluorocarbons were moving up and opening up that hole. And a Montreal protocol basically stopped the hole, the hole from growing by, by basically banning. We didn't have any cap and trade system or carbon markets or emissions trading. We had instead banning and we had pressure from scientists, and I think we can now add to that world activists, but let's make sure we strengthen them. What you're doing in the field of water is profound. We watch you with great admiration because we try to do the same things here. If you'd like any of the books or any of the things I've done on both fields of water and climate, please be in touch, but it's been very nice to share some ideas and to learn from all of you. Dr. Patrick Bond Sahab, he told me that the change in the سیاسی تحریکوں میں پانی کے مسائل اب این وسط میں آتے ہیں اس سمن میں انہوں نے امریکہ کے سائیکس لوگوں کا ذکر کیا پاکستان سے متعلق ڈاکٹر بانڈ نے یاد دلایا کہ اقوام متحدہ نے پاکستان کو دو ہزار دس کے سیلاب کے بعد جن یو ایس چار سو ساٹھ بلین کا اہتمام کیا تھا وہ پاکستان کو نہیں ملے جبکہ نقصان کا اصل تخمینہ یو ایس تینتالیس بلین کا تھا ان کا کہنا تھا کہ پچھلے بیس سالوں میں موسمیاتی انصاف کے لیے جن تنظیموں نے تحریک پکڑی ہے انہوں نے صاف صاف کہہ دیا ہے کہ انسانیت کو تباہی سے بچنے کے لیے ابھی سے سوچنا ہوگا اور مشکل قدم لینا ہوں گے مثلا آلودگی پھیلنے پر ٹیکس انہوں نے یہ بھی کہا کہ موجودہ عالمی معاشی نظام فرسودہ اور غیر ذمہ دار ہے اور صرف امیر ملکوں کو فائدہ دیتا ہے اب وقت آ گیا ہے کہ ترقی پذیر ملک سامنے آئے اور استحصالی نظام پر دباؤ ڈالیں تھینک یو پیٹرک فار ٹیلنگ اس ہاؤ اٹ از اینڈ فار ایکسپوزنگ دا فارس آف دا ایلیٹس 
regarding the climate change. Now we are going to move on to the, uh, our speakers. Our first speaker is Dr. Aditi Mukherjee. Thanks so much. Uh, and uh, I absolutely enjoyed Professor Adil and Patrick, Professor Patrick's talk. So these figures are again from the uh, summary for policymakers. I feel that of all the IPCC reports, this AR6 report has been uh, possibly because the evidence is now so unequivocal. The language has been also very, very unequivocal. It's no longer the scientist like language, like, you know, very likely medium confidence. This is saying that uh, there is absolute uh, like certainty that uh, humans have caused climate change and we are already living in a 1.1 degree world. I do not think many of us um, actually appreciate this fact that the climate has already changed. We are already living in a world which is 1.1 degree warmer than it was in the pre-industrial level. I think for many of us, and I talk to a lot of people around climate change in my immediate vicinity, people who are not specialists on climate change, uh, citizens who are, who are aware and conscious, but all of them still have this mindset that we had 20 years ago, that climate is, will change and there would be terrible things happening in the future. But that future is actually right now here. And I think that's the gap. If we can somehow convey that climate change is here and now, because the very framing of the fact that climate change almost is makes it future looking. It's like climate will change, but it has to be climate has changed. Dr. Aditi Mukherjee Sahiba, उन्होंने अक्वामे मुत्तहदा के IPCC रिपोर्ट और हिंदू कश हिमालिया तजरबाती प्रोग्राम के जरिए इकट्ठा किए गए मवाद का हवाला दिया और कहा कि सबूतों के मध्य नजर ये वसूस से कहा जा सकता है कि मौसमियाती तब्दीली मुस्तकबिल में आने वाली नहीं है बल्कि हम पर मुसलत हो चुकी है बरसकीर हिंदू पाक के बारे में उन्होंने कहा कि बर्फानी तोदे एक अशारिया पाँच डिग्री ज़्यादा गर्माहट पर 36 फीसद हजम खो देंगे जिसका दरिया सिंध के निज़ाम पर बहुत बुरा असर पड़ेगा उनका कहना था कि मुनफाना हमत अमली अपनाने की ज़रूरत है ताकि हर वक्त हर साल और हर फैसले पर हम चौकन न रहें एक अशारिया पाँच डिग्री के बाद हमारा अमल दखल कम से कम तर होता जाएगा थैंक यू अदिति फॉर दिस वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव वॉट्स इन द हिंदू कश हिमालयन रीजन